All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day number 40 of Autodesk Fusion. Today we're going to be working on the fillet and chamfer commands as, long, as well as looking at some other things to allow us to build parts quickly. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a new design and I'm going to insert that canvas that I want to use. So we're looking at the part here found in activity 125. Um, you should have this in front of you or uh, access on a PLTW website. But to make this easier for me, I am going to just bring it in right here. Alrighty. So the first thing we notice, are the dimensions correct? While I'm currently in millimeters, dimensions are millimeters, looking good. The next thing I'm going to do is start to figure out how I want to build this. So this is overall just a cylindrical shape. So I'm going to build from the top, or sorry, from the bottom up to the top and then do those edits. First thing I notice is that this has got a cylindrical base and so what I'm going to do is create a sketch. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to use this plane right here because that would start to build the part towards me. Instead I want to use this plane right here and then build up. I notice that the base of my circle is 40 millimeters. Hit finish sketch and then we're then going to build upwards extrude that up to 30 millimeters. The next thing I'm going to do is notice that we have a square right here. So I'm going to click on create a sketch right here. I'm going to click on rectangle and then center rectangle. Now the reason I'm using center rectangle is it makes sure that one of my dimensions is my square stays in the middle of the origin. This is a really helpful tool when you're doing some things. We're going to extrude that square upwards to a height of, I believe, 15 millimeters. And then from here, we are almost done. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go ahead and do the fillet command. So fillet allows you to round off an edge. So what I'm going to do is very carefully, and this is the big part where you get here, is make sure you're clicking on the correct part. So if I try to fillet an edge, I want to make sure that the edge is what's highlighted. Click on, I'm, I'm going to rotate this piece around. Using the shift key in the middle of my mouse wheel allows me to rotate pretty easily. I'm going to rotate this, clicking on only those four corners. Alrighty. And then we're going to fill it that out to a five millimeter distance. So we can pull it out to five, or we can just type in five. There we go. And then we're looking good. The next thing we need to do is figure out how to chamfer this bottom. So under the Modify tab, you find Chamfer, and it's going to cut into this bottom piece. This chamfer has got a 5 millimeter chamfer, and so by default, it's going to have equal distance right here. So your chamfer type, you're going to click down here and do Distance and Angle. So we're going to just type in a 5 millimeter chamfer, at a 30 degree bevel and then that part is done. Based on if you need to make a drawing file of this we're going to click on uh, file new drawing from design we're going to save this and so we're going to call this I'm going to call this 40 because it's day 40. Template is going to be and for my class you should have a millimeter title block we're going to click OK and then let's go ahead and make this part. So we got to start to think is what is going to be the front face. And we do have a drawing file to reference and it's going to be this because it allows us to see the majority of our part, the most dimensions. And so we're going to, I'm going to bring that scale up, click OK. And then now let's do a projected view. So projected view of my top, but we find out that if I go up, it actually doesn't do the top. So I'm going to do below and then uh, I'm going to right click and then OK. I'm going to move this view on up and then I'm also going to uh, insert an isometric. So click on base view. We're going to make that a scale of 2 to 1 with northeast isometric. Allows us to see that part easily and then click OK. Now what I also need to do is throw in the shaded view. Click close and then we are done. 
All right, guys, as far as dimensions, everything else is good. I'm going to call it done on this video, and if you have any questions, let me know.